Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Cassie. Welcome to another home renovation video. This video is going to be very here, there and everywhere. I've got stuff filmed from last year back in September, and stuff that was filmed a little bit later, and stuff that will be filmed this weekend. I thought I would introduce the video to hopefully make it make sense. But we are well underway with our home renovation at the moment. I'm trying to find a spot in the corner of the house where it doesn't look too bad. As you, as you can see, we've still not got a plaster on the walls and there's paint samples on the walls, but that's where we're at at the moment. We've still got a lot to do, but we've done a lot. We've come a long way. But yes, I just wanted to come on here quickly and introduce the video. And like I said, there will be a bit of back and forth during some of the clips. But let's jump back in time to, I believe it's September, before we started ripping some walls down. Hello, welcome back to a renovation video. It's been a while and it's been a while because we've had plans, we've had planning permission and we've completely changed our minds just because the cost of everything at the moment is so high. So we're actually going away on holiday tomorrow but we are having some work done to the house while we're away. So one of the things that is happening is hopefully all being well, this wall here is going to come out to extend into the dining room which is through this hatch here this hatch will go and the kitchen we're going to put in this bit over here we're going to put a wall up here to block off the living room and we're also putting a wall in here to block off the living room so the living room will actually be blocked off which will be nice sorry once again if you can hear the heating system this should also be going because we should hopefully have a boiler installed it's a little bit all hands on deck because sorry that was really really close we're going away tomorrow and i still need to pack i pretty much packed i just need to do some more packing and the reason there's a bit of a rush or they want to try and get it done while we're away for three weeks because it just makes sense yeah plans are a little bit different and plans have changed not just because of the cost of extending and renovating as well but because we are expecting our first child <laughs> I'm currently in my first trimester, feeling very crappy. Bear with me, I'm out of breath. <laughs> we need to get some bits done to the house as soon as possible. We've got hopefully this wall coming out, which means that when we come back, it's going to be looking for a new kitchen. We've got so much work to do. Luckily, Dan can do quite a bit of himself because he's, he's a very good handyman. But we need a combi fitting. We need radiators fitting. The house needs a complete rewire. So there is a lot to do which is great but yeah i'm just emptying out these cupboards right now so i've just taken all of the books out of here i'll let dan move them later because all of these cupboards will obviously be coming out i'm just trying to do a couple of little bits as i go i can put all of this under the stairs hopefully and see how we go put the heating on but the sun is so bright in this room i don't think i needed it um ignore the bloat i'm very bloated right now you know you know you're not feeling very well when your husband buys you massive jar of nutella and i think i've eaten i barely touched the oh oh does that make me feel queasy or not i don't know i have no idea some stuff seems appealing and then in the next second does not seem appealing at all <laughs> yeah it's just really really tricky to kind of get shit done where you're just feeling like you just need to either be sick or go to sleep unfortunately i am dealing with a lot of fatigue and a lot of lot of nausea in my first trimester i'm not looking forward to that on holiday but at least i can chill so there is that. Yeah, I need to empty these cupboards. Dan's at golf. I don't know why he booked golf for this day. He's not even packed and there's so much to do in the house. But we've just ran out of time, unfortunately. It'll be weird to think we might come back and then not have this heating system in. That we might actually have radiators. It's going to be weird. Right, uh, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to give you an update because I wanted to kind of show you what's cracking off before we go away. So when I come back, I can actually give you like the before and after sort of scenario. I'll go into the other side of the room. So you can see what it looks like from this side. So this is the wall that is coming out. This one here, sorry for my breathing. And then we're going to put a wall in here. So it's going to be blocked off. So we've got to move a lot of stuff. I think we're going to put as much as we can in the back room. That room is actually going to become the dining room. So we're going to take that door and window out and put either like bifolds or French doors in. Make this look really nice. Put a radiator in there because it gets freezing. Take this sliding door out. I think we're going to build it out a little bit. Build it out a little bit because obviously the kitchen's going to come along here. Hopefully a nice range here. 
And then the kitchen, sorry, if I'm making you feel sick, the kitchen will come round to here. And then if we can squeeze a little island in here, we will put a little island breakfast nook in there. I'm very interested to see what the house is gonna look like when we get back. But we've just got a lot to do, haven't we, pudding? Do you need to go outside? Do you want to go this way? Because we want to put doors in here as well. Oh, the door's dodgy anyway. It means we've got obviously some work to do. Taking this wall out because there's going to be a door here, so five folds or something. This needs to come out. We probably will still extend at some point. We just can't afford to do it right now, unfortunately. Um, we are on a time crunch <laughs> because we need to get upstairs sorted as well because we need to do a nursery. But we know we can get it looking pretty nice for the meantime and we're still going to have a really nice kitchen diner. It is a brand new day. It is a brand new week. <laughs> been a couple of weeks since I think I picked up the camera and said what we were intending to do with the renovation, with the extension. I think I mentioned the plans before we went away on holiday. We've now been back on holiday two weeks. I obviously wanted to pick up the camera and give you an update. And as you can see behind me, I'm in the dining room. And if you remember, there used to be a wall here that's now gone. So let's just step back a little bit. So yeah, this is the dining room and there was a wall there. And as you can see, the wall has been taken out. Please excuse the mess of our house. Trying to keep it tidy when you're in renovation is just like near and impossible. And there's dust and dirt everywhere, but we're making do for now. But yeah, the wall used to be here all the way across and we just shut off. We've opened it all up. So we're gonna have a nice open kitchen snug area. Um, this is our historic heater. We have air vents. We have these air vent systems in the house. Uh, we're putting radiators in, so hopefully we'll have the plumber come around in the next couple of weeks and put radiators in for us. But we took out the wall around here as well to just give us more space and it opens up the space when you come in through this door. This is what it looks like currently. Like I said, please excuse the mess. Our electrician has just put the, like moved the electrics around for us so they were off the wall. And we have put the cooker over there because that's where the range will go once the kitchen is done. The piano will go down in, sorry if I made you feel sick, in this area here, this is gonna be a snug area. We're gonna board up the door in the window, put a little log burner in there and have a little snug area. And then here, I think is gonna be the coffee station. So floor to ceiling cupboard and a little coffee station. And in there will be the dining room. So this double door, sliding door is coming out. And then we're gonna have a lovely dining room in there. We're gonna keep that window, but we're removing this window and door, window and door, uh, and putting bifolds in there, just some small bifolds um, to really open up the space in the summer. So we've got a lot of stuff to do in the garden as well. This part is getting walled off. So you won't be able to walk into the living room from this bit. I think Dan's gonna try and get that done in the next couple of weeks. So this will be the main access into the kitchen and the snug. And then we are having, I think I said, a wall put in here to corner off the living room and a door is going in here instead. So this is going to be knocked down, all of this, because the hallway will be through here and a door is going here. So we've got a lot of work to do. Right, so I'll take you upstairs because there's some updates upstairs as well. Um, our builder's been great, he came in one day and took down two walls for us, which was just amazing. This wall, which is on the stairs, is hopefully going. We just need to confirm if it's low bearing or not, so we need to check that. If it is low bearing, the wall is still coming out, we're just going to have to have a post or something. But I don't like walled in stairs. As you can see, it's quite dark in this area. It's probably because of the colours on the wall as well. I like open stairs. I want a banister. If this is our forever home, I said to Dan, I'm not sticking with the wall regardless. So, <laughs> so this wall is going to come out, but we just need to check some things first. You would have seen that the toilet is through there and the bathroom is through here. And please, once again, excuse the mess. There is stuff everywhere. This wall has been removed in the bathroom and toilet. So there was a wall here that separated off the toilet. Sorry, I'll stop pointing. And so sorry for my heavy breathing. I'm really out of breath. So that wall has been taken down and the whole kitchen is gonna get, kitchen, bathroom is going to get ripped out at some point and I have ordered a new bathroom already. This door is staying, the door over there, this one, is going because the bath is going to go along here and Dan has had to make do with trying to sort the shower out and put up a plastic screen for now so we can still have showers because obviously the wall is gone so that's the bathroom update like I said bathroom has been ordered 
and we are just waiting for the delivery of that and then once that's arrived we just need the plumber to come in and obviously put some plumbing in here for us where, where we want everything to go. I'm not going to put the camera down too low because this room is our storage room at the moment. It is an absolute tip. But this is basically going to be the nursery. It was originally going to be our master bedroom and the nursery was going to be in the front bedroom. But we've had a change of plans because of trying to fit stuff in. And we really want a decent sized wardrobe. It's been a long time since we had a proper wardrobe, so we want one. I've just got my chest of drawers in here and stuff at the moment. That room is just kind of like, yeah, let's not get too much into that. This room here is going to have a change as well. So we started clearing this room out. Chest of drawers used to be here. This is the office. Absolute mess. But once again, we are having a good sort out and decluttering. But basically in this room, we, we need more. Let me go into the other room, the bedroom. Our now bedroom. Once again, I'm not going to show you too much because it's a mess. This, we want to put wardrobes on this wall. However, the window comes too far across and... We're not going to have enough space between the wall, the wardrobe and the bed. Now, we've tried to think of different ways to move this bedroom around. It just doesn't work. We tried to think about putting wardrobes on this wall and there's just not enough space. So we have decided to knock this wall out and move it back into the office and then put built-in wardrobes in this wall. So let's go back into the office. This wall is coming out and it's pretty much going to be aligned with the back of the door so the wall will come out here and then in there will be built-in wardrobes for the bedroom so we're going to have a smaller office but it is literally an office we put the computer in here and that is it so we don't need that much room um, it won't ever get used as a third bedroom if we ever needed it the other bedroom is big enough but obviously if we ever did have another child which we don't plan on having <laughs> we will worry about that later on we still have our extension plans we just like i said don't have the time or money to do that at the moment so yeah we're going to have a wall in here so we're not going to be taking too much room out of this room but it just means that we can fit everything into the master bedroom and have a nice bedroom that wall didn't take too long to do just a bit of a not in my own places, but no plaster fell off, which was great. That one sticked off quite quickly. Now I'm going to move on and get this wall done. I just need Dan to help me move a couple of things out the way so I can just tackle the wall and hopefully it won't take too long. But if it's it's the same wall that was in the living room, it's going to take forever. So it's wallpaper and it's got under wallpaper as well, like underlay stuff. And it's just a nightmare. It feels like you're pe peeling off like three pieces of wallpaper. So yeah, that's fun. can probably hear Dan upstairs um, <laughs> doing what he needs to do. This wall is stripped, this wall is stripped and I've started on this wall, a lot of plaster has come off but we are building the wall out slightly to the depth of the cabinet and then in the dining room we're putting like built-in corner bench here so we should fit in nice and nicely and I think Dan said he's going to put some like open shelves in this. I totally forgot this wall here needs stripping, luckily it's not a whole wall so i'm gonna get that done and then it goes up to this bit here so i'm gonna try and get that stripped and then i think when stan's done upstairs he'll take off the skirting board and then we will peel back the carpet here and then probably move this cupboard um next to the oven so it's out the way and ready for everything else that we need to do hey buddy yeah that was a bit of a pain to do uh, a lot of plaster fell off but it's gonna need going to need replastering anyway because of this wall and pretty much the whole house needs replastering at this point so, so yes it's uh, sounding lovely at the moment hey you got your ball go on then okay, we're just finishing up some bits downstairs but i would show you the paint i thought i'd show you the paint sample colors that we've got so this is pharaoh and ball and this is in Hop ahead, which is like this dark grey. And then I got a 
mouse book colour set in stone, which is like more of a grey, so you can see there's a huge difference in the two colours. I thought I would try two different ones to see how I get on. So I'm going to put this on the wall and see what it looks like. Okay, two very different colours. I'm going to let them dry and give them a second coat. This is coming up um, more like a brownie kind of colour. Not brown, definitely like a grey, uh, but I don't know if it's right for this room. It might be actually. I did want like a mushroom grey. I don't know if that makes sense at all. I saw a colour and I was like, oh, mushroom grey. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just making that up, but I don't know. I think I might, when I put it on the wall, I was like, definitely not, but I think that one might grow on me. And this one looks blue at the moment. So I think this one might be a little bit too cool of a grey, but we'll see. I'm going to let them dry, give them second coats and see. It's too dark to look at these colours now on the wall, but I have given them just another coat of paint. So like a second coat. That's why they look shiny because they're wet. I'll look at these in the morning, but so far I really am drawn to the Valspa one. Gonna give you a couple of updates as to what's going on. Sorry, it's really dark in this bit of the house because hopefully there are going to be some more changes this weekend. So I wanted to film a little bit to give you guys an update as to where we are from the last home renovation update. So I'm going to turn this camera around and give you a little tour um, of what's been done. You're just going to have to excuse the mess because we're just living in a mess at the moment, but we do actually have a kitchen appointment today i think our final kitchen appointment we've run today and the kitchen is going in this bit here so i think we're just finalizing all the details but we have spotlights oh my goodness look how beautiful they are so pretty we need to get rid of this dappled ceiling but i think that's it's render it's not wallpaper i don't know i can't remember what dan said that side was wallpaper so dan managed to get it off but i think we're gonna have to plaster over this side i think but yes we have lights so the old electrics need to come out and they were meant to be taken out this weekend and everything connecting but our electricians are either busy or poorly so we're probably not going to get them till next weekend which is not ideal with it being the weekend before christmas and we're out all day on saturday for dan's brother's wedding but it is what it is I'm not getting annoyed <laughs> i'm not gonna let it uh dampen my mood too much because it's just just one of those things uh we obviously need to go to skip we've got just stuff everywhere this was meant to be coming out this weekend because it was meant to be getting disconnected and i was so happy about the fact that this was coming out it's not coming out now because obviously they're not coming over and we need them to disconnect it before we can take it out so we're probably going to have this for another week which is lovely uh, it's probably going to be with us for Christmas. I just got to get used to that. Um, yeah, we need to skip. Loads of rubbish. But I think Dan's going to start ripping out some of the kitchen today because we need to put a radiator in here and we need to put a radiator and hide the dirty dishes in under this window because this sink is getting moved to over there. So there is still a lot to do in this room. The main thing, we have heating. Yes, the radiators are working. They are on. Oh my goodness. Blimey, excuse nails, they look awful. Radiators are in, blimey, bump is making a hello in this video. And so yes, the house is warm. The only room that's not warm is obviously the kitchen, but we're leaving the door open. So the heat is going through, so it's not as bad in there, it's livable. We have spotlights up here, and some of the plug sockets have started to go on, um, I think more so upstairs. Nothing has changed in the living room. I'm going to try and give it a tidy down today at some point. Um, look how gorgeous our light is for the living room, which is going up there, which has been nice and centred now to the new room because obviously we've got two new walls up. It's really starting to toss, starting to take shape. We need to go to the fireplace centre to look at fireplaces, but they'll probably be in the new year now. So hopefully they haven't got too much of a backlog. Um, as you can see, a lot of chasing in that needs to be covered up with some wonderful plastering and obviously plumbing pipes as well. Let's go upstairs. Oh, here is one of the sockets on. So they've covered them in um, the plastic bags for us because obviously we are still ripping off wallpaper 
like these bits here. We need to plaster. So we think we found a plasterer who was meant to come the other day. He was just too busy, bless him. I think everyone's so busy at the moment. And then we went up to the final push for Christmas. So he didn't, couldn't come over to quotas, but hopefully he'll get over this week. If not, it will be the new year now. But these are our wonderful new light switches. Obviously they need to be screwed in and everything, but how pretty do they look? They're like a brushed antique brass, I think, or a brushed brass. I think they're brushed antique brass or something. I'm out of breath, sorry. <laughs> um, obviously, yes, we have holes everywhere. And everything that is hopefully being ripped out this weekend is the bathroom. The toilet works, the sink works, the shower does not work. We have spotlights in here, so the old lights need removing. And we have our shaver socket on, which they've also covered for us because, as you can see, this room definitely needs plastering. So that's what the shaver socket looks like. Same as the light switches and plug sockets. This shower, oh, you just got stuff everywhere. This shower needs to be ripped out. It's not working so we can rip it out and um, the radiator is going on this wall but we need to gut out the room. All the tiles need to come off the wall. The wood panelling needs to come off the wall. Um, you know what? I don't hate these tiles. I think it just doesn't match the rest of the house. So the vibe she was going for in the bathroom, beautiful like art deco style, kind of. Doesn't match the wood panelling or the mustard and purple walls <laughs> so all the carpet like so there was definitely a mishmash of um, interiors in this house but i feel like she tried and so of it it might have been the 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 style for when she decorated the house i honestly don't know so uh, cause i feel like this house maybe was decorated it was built in the 70s um it's decorated to 70s taste but this bathroom doesn't scream 70s um so i reckon this bathroom might have been redone at a later time but yeah not mad about the bathroom just mad about the textured ceiling i just don't like textured ceilings so i will be very happy when that goes and this egg light which is also i'm not a fan of all the saucer light <laughs> right so that's the update in the bathroom yes we have floorboards up everywhere but the appears there is a stance oh we have a boiler look at that beautiful thing that is supplying some beautiful warmth to our house a lot cheaper than our storage heater thankfully because gas prices and well energy prices are on the up yet again so <laughs> i said to dad we're going to put this beautiful boiler in and then we're not going to use it because we won't be able to afford to use it because <laughs> everything is just so expensive to run at the moment but anyway floorboards up everywhere it's a mess nothing has changed in the nursery except we have some plug sockets on now the old electrics still need to be ripped out although i think the lights have been taken out yes they have which is great um <laughs> Yes, beautiful plug sockets. So this room needs a very, very good tidy. There's our boiler cupboard door. We probably won't put that back on because we are buying new doors to match the style of the house. Um, yeah, we need to strip the rest of the hallway landing. This door is coming out. We are blocking that up because there's no room in there now because it's one big room. We had a wall here. I don't know if you remember. There used to be a wall the stairs used to be walled in. I don't like walled in staircases. I think they feel very narrow, very dark. So we asked them to take the wall out. They've managed to do that. So obviously we need new proper uh, stair parts put in the banister and everything. But it meant because of where the wall went, it dipped into the other room and we have a hole. So Dan's gonna take out this whole bit here and then reboard it over for the length of it. So hopefully that'll work quite nicely. I don't know, I might ask him to no, I was going to say pull the ceiling over and do it that way, but then it would look weird because we'd gain a little bit of space in the room, but honestly not that much, and that's where the wardrobes are going anyway. The bedroom um, is the main room I'm going to try and... main room I'm going to try and tidy today. We have the sockets in for the lights, so the old ones once again just need removing. There are lights down there, and they've started to put the sockets in for the bedside, which is great to see. And, um, yeah, I've reached out to a joiner for the wardrobes and the stairs but he's not got back to me so i might have to try and find somebody else for that you can see how dusty the house is by just looking at this mirror <laughs> so this um is the current state of the house this was in the office the smallest bedroom and it used to be like boarded out you can see where it was boarded out 
it took up so much room. I'm not really sure why they did it because we've gained space. I know it's like slanted space, but we have gained space from doing this. So I'm thinking in this section here, I'm going to ask them to put shelves in. Um, so we're not not utilizing the space. Put some shelves in because even like the the a shelf like a certain height up will be deep enough for me to put like my trainers in or my shoes in. Probably not Dan's shoes, but definitely mine. So I want them to shelve this part of the wardrobe so I can put shoes in and other bits in. The rest will be hanging, storage or drawers. Um, so I think that will utilize that space quite nicely. I hate this, but there's nothing we can do about it. So we're just going to try and work around it. This is where my vanity is going to go when the room is done. So I put my little old vanity table there. I'm going to get a new one that's more in keeping with the side of the house. I, I, that was off Amazon or something. I oh, know, I think it was B&M actually. Um, so I, I'm going to get a new one that's just a bit more in keeping. But I think we're going to keep the bedside tables which I think are from Cotswold Company, Cotswold & Co. I think, and they're in very, like, they're, they're superb, really good, um, to a really high standard, so I think we're going to keep them. And I think the last vlog, I ended on the colours for the room. Now, I did give these two her coats, but you couldn't see it very well because I think it was a bit darker in here, but you can see them a bit better now. So I honestly think I am kind of going towards this like mushroomy grey colour and I said to someone at work the other day I was after a mushroom grey and I don't know if I was making it up I was like I really want like a mushroom grey and I think I have found a mushroom grey do you not think I don't know I honestly don't know but this one beautiful colour but I think a little bit too cool toned a little bit too bluey grey and I like the warmth of this one, which I think will match the style of the room quite nicely. But I won't know until obviously the room's been done. That was another option when I was wanting like a light blue in the room. Completely changed my mind, complete 360. This is another Farrow and Ball. I only did one coat off, one coat off, but yeah, beautiful colour, just didn't, not, not for me, not for this room. So I think I'm going to do that colour, this one, and I think that's a Valsper paint actually, and it's, um, very nice consistency actually, very nice, um, quality paint, which I was nicely surprised by, but we have used Valsper in the past, so it takes a couple of coats, works just as well. And I think I'm doing wood panelling on this wall. So originally I wanted like panelling in the room, like dado rail style panelling. I think that's what you call it. But I think I'm going to do just wooden slat panelling. I'll put a picture on the screen right now for my inspo for this room. I really want this house to feel very cosy countryside-esque. Um, we live in the countryside, so it it fits in with the house really nicely and I'm really into that cosy kind of feeling of home right now so I want the home house to feel all cosy and lovely and warm but also like moody as well I think that's yeah like the living room is going to be in a black colour which I think will look nice as well so you will all be caught up now in terms of what has been going on in the house I hope anyway so we are back to current day and we are in the spare room now because Dan has move the bed into here because he's gutting out bedroom so i'm going to show you that now and i'm going to try and decluttering and like getting rid of stuff as we go um, but we've got some more boxes today so i can put stuff away in boxes and we can stack them in the garage so they're out of the way and so we want to try and make it as easy as possible when the plaster is coming that they can get to the rooms they need to so once the bedroom is done we can move back into there and yes yeah, so anyway I'll, I'll i'll take you around the house and show you what it looks like at the moment so this is the going to be the nursery this is the room that i've just been in the bed needs to be made but i'm gonna wash the bedding and put fresh bedding on and everything but this is what i'm gonna try and sort for later just to make it look a bit more tidy and yeah this is the current room this still needs to be plastered Yes, this is this is what it's currently like at the moment. I'm sorry, there is stuff everywhere, so I'm trying to show you around everything. But the bathroom, we ripped out this door. The bathroom is pretty much all ripped out now, except for the toilet, because obviously we still need a toilet. And let me go in from this side. So you can see all the flooring's been ripped up. Uh, they needed to do that anyway for the um, electrics and the plumbing. Here is the bathroom. So the plumber is coming back on Monday where the shower was and where we had a wall here I don't you remember this is obviously the wall's been taken down we stripped off all the tiles and we need to fill in a couple of holes we've got new lighting in these down lights or spotlights are gorgeous 
absolutely gorgeous we've got them from the electric counter so the bath is going in there this whole wall is getting tiled and we're going to have a shower over the bath it is a freestanding bath so i need to get a shower curtain and the vanity is going here i need to measure everything out but obviously i can't at the moment because there is stuff in here so like clothes i need to sort out and obviously manky toilet which is getting replaced and all the pipe that's getting replaced the toilet is going to stay in the same place so that's the bathroom going out onto the hallway and um, yes the wall's been removed i think this was shown in a recent clip but we're having a proper stair banister put in and it just opens up the whole space so much it's beautiful I've got a boiler the boiler's been put in so obviously all this needs to be the flooring needs to be replaced we need to put some shelving in there for towels and stuff but our airing cupboard has a beautiful buster boiler which is just lovely never thought i'd be so happy to see a boiler but i am so that was the office, the old office. Obviously we've ripped the wall out, as you can see. You can see all the way through. So this doorway Dan's ripped out yesterday. That's getting boarded up, so that'll be a wall. Sorry. <laughs> so I said to Dan, we need to replace all of the door frames. And then I got home yesterday and I said, you know what, I'm gonna think about it and we'll leave them. Because it's just the fact that they've got layers and layers and layers of gloss on them. And they just look a bit, mm, just not great. So I wanted to remove them, but then I said to Dan, we'll keep them just to save time and money. Uh, and then obviously he um, has removed these two. So we are removing them now and replacing them. So we need a new door frame, new door. Uh, so Dan's been busy today, bless him. He's removing all of the, um, the old electrics ready for this room to be plastered. These lights we're not keeping. They're not the style that I was going for but we've just got them up for now and I need to replace the light bulbs as well. So we're gonna get some new lights. These are the switches and oh, they're just beautiful. And then these are the sockets. You wonder what daddy's doing. Um, so yeah, Dan's taken out. This is the master bedroom. So the bed is going in the center here on this wall. And then, what are you doing? Are you a bit scared? Hey, are you a bit scared? Down there is kind of like the wardrobe slash dressing room area. So I've just popped my computer on there for now so I can actually edit. This is the stuff that I need to sort out this, um, this afternoon. But we're putting built on wardrobes in there and then dressing table. And I'll put the mirror probably on this wall. Sorry for the pointing. But as you can see, it's a mess. Um, right, let's go downstairs. Just a clip of the stairs wall being removed. Dan has started doing some patching up. We do have a hole here though, as you can see into the bedroom where the wall was. So that needs to be patched up. We've got all the new electrics in. Like I said, the heating in, so we've got radiators, which is lovely. Dan has built this wall for the living room. So there would have been you can kind of see the outline of the entryway that used to be here. And there used to be like glass panel here. It's now all been removed and we have a nice wall. So we go into the living room. It's a nice little crazy living room. And yeah, this is where we're at. But the living room, aren't we pudding? Have you found your ball? <laughs> um, so we had someone over this morning to look at the fireplace to rip it out and we're installing a log burner. He thinks they might be able to squeeze us in to have the rip out done. Sorry about the banging. Um, the rip out done hopefully in January because they're gonna do it in two stages for us so we can get the flooring down and get the room plastered. Dan's obviously put the wall up here as well. We're gonna insulate it so it's soundproofed and we're gonna put the boards up but the plumber needs to put another pipe in to go out the side of the house. So Dan can't finish that yet. Uh, but yes, we have the bathtub in the living room. It's been in there for a while, hasn't it but, in. but yeah the wall's up we've got a good feel for how the room is going to uh, the space that we've got in the living room when it's done so I um, still have some more wallpaper stripping to do I'm gonna try and get that done this weekend I can't reach the top bar but I can do the bottom part half for Dan to help him out because there's not much I can do now um, so I just do little jobs and then coming into the kitchen which I think is the biggest change obviously it looks very dusty at the moment it is because it's dusty but oh my days the storage heater is gone 
it has been removed. And honestly, when I tell you it opens up this space so much, it's just beautiful. Obviously you can see straight through up into the, the boiler room. All okay? But yeah, that's been removed. So that's, we're having like a little larder, like pantry cupboard there. And um, it's the only place we could really fit it because we want to use under stairs storage as shoe and coat storage because we need some more storage in this house. So that's going to be the coat and shoe storage. And then the cupboard that's been built in here when the kitchen's done will be our pantry. Are you testing wires? Yeah, okay. Before, Sounds like a very clever thing to do. Excuse the absolute mess. Like I said, the house is just a mess. Um, we're on operation, get shit done. <laughs> So this is where the kitchen will go. You can kind of see, I think I might have showed you what the kitchen looks like. Um, the, like the pantry cupboard is here. So the fridge will be going in this place here. We've got a new fridge, which is in there. And it's beautiful. I never thought I'd call a fridge beautiful, but it is beautiful. Um, so yes, the kitchen is going in this layout, but we're removing all of the cupboards. I think we'll literally be left with the sink, the fridge and the cooker by the time we're done. So we've got some boxes to put kitchen stuff in, just so the plasterers can obviously get to the walls they need to. Sorry, I'm trying to remember everything to update you on. <laughs> but they built uh, our builders built this wall out for us, so we just need to board that because we wanted it to come out just a tiny bit further than the counter. So this counter will go back a little bit. And then on the other side, we're going to have shelving into the dining room. And it'll be nice because I can put like, little photo frames on there and everything. So this door is getting moved out. So there was a lump here. Uh, not a lump, but like a, it rose a little bit to the door, the flooring did. So our builder's chopped all that out. So he's basically going to level the whole floor for us to make it a bit easier. Um, but he has had to chop out a little channel for the pipe because the sink used to be here in front of this window. But obviously we've had to move it. So yes, this one is the bit that's a little bit frustrating. This is a storage room. It will be the dining room in the future. But we have to replace the roof. We know we did anyway, but we were hoping we could do it in springtime. But when Dan was ripping off the, cause it was like wood paneling on the ceiling. It's very apparent that the whole thing needs to be ripped down. I mean, you can see the light coming through. It's cold in here. It's had leaks. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this has warped. I think that one's warped. So the whole thing needs coming down and replacing. So that's a job, another job to do at some point. This door and window will be ripped out and replaced with either French doors or bifold doors. Can't make my mind up yet, but that will be a job for spring. We can live with that for now. Um, but yeah, that room is kind of like the, um, the don't go in there room that's hoarding everything. So I've been trying to sort stuff out, but yeah, it's hard, but I've gotten rid of so, rid of so much stuff. And then the other bit of the kitchen. So we've actually added in uh, two cabinets here and we're having some shelving on the wall and that's gonna be our little coffee nook. You can see that here. So there'll be like shelving above it. So that's our little coffee nook area. Um, and then in front of the window, I think I'm gonna keep it quite open, quite minimal. I want the kitchen to look quite open, tidy, clean. We're just gonna put Luna's dog bed and dog food bowl there. Yes, that is a Christmas tree. I've had to order a slimmer Christmas tree for the living room. So the big Christmas tree, which I love, I would never get rid of, is going to go in here instead. The soil stack needs pots and back up. What are you doing? Oh, he's ripping out that. I wonder what was going on then. So is Luna. <laughs> so we bought a smaller uh, tree for the living room. The big one will go in here. And oh my God, it's going to be lovely because you're going to walk through the door and you're just going to see this Christmas tree. Oh, it's going to look beautiful. See, already know where the Christmas tree is going next year. Spoke about under the stair storage. And this is the snug area. Obviously, it looks very snug right now. And that window and door is getting bricked up because we're going to put a log burn in the center and then we're going to put our computer set up here and a little snug sofa here so this is going to be the snug area and here will be a door that will go into the garage for the utility and the downstairs toilet so we've actually got access to the garage but that is going to be a little way off so i think dan said he might just put a temp wall up here so that when the builder comes back to do all that work it's boarded off so the dust in the dirt doesn't get to doesn't get to our lovely new kitchen. Is he making loud noises, Puddin? Is he scaring you? Hey? Is he scaring you? 
She is, isn't she? So, yeah, there we have it. It's okay. I was trying to find a quiet room in the house to film the outro, but we're just going to put up with the banging. That is the heavy. We're all up to date now with the home renovation. The next time I will pick up the camera for home renovation updates, they will be for the individual rooms. So like a kitchen update, a living room update, etc. So I'm very mindful that these uh, this video is probably going to be quite long. So I I've just had a lovely pregnancy massage and I've come home and I need to let it out sort out all this stuff now but hey ho please subscribe if you want to be alerted of when i post new renovation updates like i said they'll be for the individual rooms got a lot we've got every room to do so there's going to be a couple more videos on this i just think it'll be easy to do it that way that is all from me and the pudding who's um a bit scared from all the noises bless her but she should be used to it by now hey yes i did like this probably slightly hectic video please give it a thumbs up so please subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me i have a goal of hitting a thousand subscribers this year might be a little bit ambitious but we'll see and i will catch you all in the next video guys thanks for watching bye